well, we were talking about this earlier. One thing that, that came out is that if you're going to take care of yourself in a really true way, be prepared to be a weirdo. For sure. I'm always the weirdo who shows up. I've shown up at multiple dinners mm-hmm. with my own food. Right. Because I knew that what they had there, mm-hmm. I was not... You now, it was when I used to do fitness competitions and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I felt the best I've ever felt and was in the best shape I was ever in and could run that race for God until he... I mean, I could run it until right. I ran myself in the ground. You know, like right. it was... You have the energy to do so. Right. I was telling someone yesterday that I was advising on on food and he said to me what do I do when I go to places and there's no options for me there and I said eat before you go or take your own you will be the weirdo but the weirdos are getting stuff done in life well let me just say this (laughs) now you know I know everybody doesn't have this conviction and I'm not trying to put this conviction on everybody but for me personally, I don't consume alcohol. I never have. It's a personal conviction of mine, and I'd be happy to, to go through the reasons why. Uh, but what that means, I mean, I'm in business, and I go to a lot of business dinners, and you know, most times people are consuming alcohol. You know, you go, uh, you know, I just think about a dinner I was at recently. We're sitting at a big round table. There's probably 10 people there. All nine of them have a beverage of some sort, an adult beverage, as my uh, some people like to call. It gets to me and I order, you know, iced tea, unsweetened iced tea. <laughs> uh, you know, and I've been dealing with that since I was in the military, right? Oh, yeah. And so for me personally, it's just one of those things I've accepted. I'm going to be different. If somebody asks a question, I tell them why. As a matter of fact, they ask a question, it's a good opportunity to tell them why. Uh, but by the same token, maybe I'm, I'm bragging on myself on that, but if I, if I go to a party like I did yesterday, uh, I probably wouldn't go in and say, no, nah, I'm not going to eat any cake because I don't, uh, you know, I don't think that's healthy for me. And they're not dissimilar. No, they're, 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 they're not. They're yeah. not. But so what I'm saying is I don't mind being weird on the alcohol issue because I've been weird for, you know, 30 years on that. I feel more uncomfortable, more uncomfortable being weird on the cake. And that could be just because uh, the people in my circles, uh, in my Christian circles, would, would they feel different about the issues, right? Yeah. And so... The other thing is, if I raise up a standard and I say, I'm not going to eat that cake, then I feel like I'm making everyone else uncomfortable. And I've seen this, I've seen this with the alcohol issue. When mm-hmm. I don't order alcohol, then other people feel more self-conscious about ordering alcohol, especially if there's just two of us. Sure, right? sure, sure. Uh, and, and so, uh, that's an issue. I'm just Paul addresses it. Yeah. Right? And he talks about, at length, he talks about not doing things that will, um, you know, cause another believer mm-hmm. to fall, but also not being so outside the realm of, you know, whether you eat or drink, do it all for the glory of God. Um, but also that you can't be so weird that you lose your testimony. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the thing that makes food so tricky is yes. that food is an intensely social thing. But why doesn't it make alcohol tricky? For oh, Christians? well, no, alcohol too. Food and food and drink. Yeah. Um, because there's nothing that is better for, I mean, you guys know this being in the business world, for starting up a relationship with someone than to have a meal with them or to at least have like a coffee with them or, you know, have a drink. So when you go into an environment and you're trying to build a relationship with someone, I think that you know, eating what they eat or drinking what they drink, or especially if they've served it to you, if you're at their house or something like yes, that. Yes, especially. That's, in a way, it's hospitable. And I think that this is why Jesus uh, so often had meals with sinners, you know, because it was a way of developing a level of intimacy with them. So there has to be a balance struck there between, you know, I'm making a stand on this, I'm sorry, I can't eat that, and like, you know, uh, let's see, being all things to all people. Yeah. When I think in America, and especially in the American church, 
we're really spoiled and that we are rarely in a situation where we're going to be with people who, um, and again, now we're talking about being with the unbeliever, right? Because it's, he's not, mm-hmm. he did not address this with the believers. I mean, he did address it on a micro scale, but he really addressed it with unbelievers. Mm. Uh, but if we're, we're not often put in situations where it's a eat the meat, don't eat the meat, you know, eat the... The meat sacrifice, the idols. Yes. We haven't been in one of those situations. We're not dealing with yet. that <laughs> kind of thing. Um, and so it, I think it becomes one of the, if it can be a healthy conversation, you know, yeah. and, and you are not glorifying, you're not finding a way to glorify God to meet your own desires. Yeah, and because, I think, well, and let's bring it back a little bit closer, you know, a little, maybe a little bit more realistic. Uh, the times that we're out in situations like that, on the bigger scale, are small. Yeah. Right? They're only a fraction. Most of my bad decisions happen at my own dinner table or when mm-hmm. it's my wife and I out mm-hmm. to dinner. And so, uh, you know, I can't necessarily blame, I don't want to be weird on mm-hmm. it. Uh, we could be hospitable and partake if somebody puts something in front of us and, and we're hospitable or whatever. We, we can do that and still be true 95% of the yeah. time to what we what we should be doing to steward ourselves mm-hmm. because our bodies are very capable of in moderation processing things, right? It's it's that day-to-day routine that gets us so in trouble. 